Making changes to codes can be a daunting task. With Git, you can test these changes without worrying about breaking your project. This is done by allowing multiple code bases to run simultaneously in branches. When you're happy with the changes, you can incorporate them into the main code base by merging. Today, I'll show you how to create new branches and merge them into the master branch in VS Code. Let's look at a simple example. We have a website here that's live and we would like to add another line of texts. But the website should stay as it is until we're sure about our changes. So let's create a new branch. This is really simple to do in VS Code. At the bottom left corner, we see this source control symbol and next to it is the name of the branch that we are on currently. So right now it says master and if you click on it, it opens the command palette and gives you the option to create a new branch. Then we click on it, we name the branch and press enter. Now we've created a new branch called add sentence and if you look at our bottom left corner again, we see that we've checked out our new branch. Now our new branch is in local system, so if we go to the source control tab, we can publish branch to GitHub. So we can confirm this in our GitHub. I'll refresh this and we should see our new branch here. So now that we're working on our new branch, we're free to make changes without breaking the website. So the code we see here is living on our new branch called add sentence. In our example, we wanted to add another sentence in our website. I want to say, I love all my subscribers and going to the source control tab. We can commit and push. Again, we can see the changes in our GitHub. If we go to our branch, We've got two sentences here, but if we go to our master branch, there's only one sentence here. At this point, we might be really happy with our changes and feel ready to make the changes live on the website. We do this by merging. The first step is to pull any changes on our main branch. This is to ensure main branch is up to date, just in case any changes were made to it while you're working on the new branch. This is especially important if you're working with many branches or many people. It's really simple to do. We first check out our main branch by using this button here again. Notice here that now that we are on the main branch, we only see one sentence rather than two. And now we open up our terminal and we type git pull. And now your main branch is up to date. Since I'm working on this project on my own, I know that there hasn't been any changes, so it says already up to date. Finally, it's time to merge our new branch into our main branch so that we do see all the changes. So going back to our terminal, we type git merge and we type the name of our new branch, add sentence, enter. And from here, all we have to do is going back to source control tab and push the changes to GitHub. And finally, the change is live on the server. We can confirm this in GitHub refreshing it. In our master branch, we've got two sentences here. Now say if there were conflicts in your code, so maybe I already had a second sentence, then when you try to merge, you might come across merge conflicts, which you will need to resolve before finalizing the merge. I've made a video on how to resolve merge conflicts and I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Love ya!